Hi there everybody, it's Verity here from inkybutterfly.wordpress.com Thank you so much for joining me again today for another card making tutorial and today I'm sharing with you this project which I have made for the Inspire Create Challenges design team for um, this week Okay, so the, there will be a link in my description bar below to um, the blog post where this challenge is staged and if you would like to participate in the challenge uh, you can do so between now and a week Wednesday. You just need to upload your link um, of your project uh, and then uh, we will pick a winner and announce it over on that, that um, the following Sunday, the two-week Sunday. So yeah, uh, the, it is a sketch challenge. So um, I, can't, I don't know of a way of easily sharing that with you um, over this... Uh, this channel but if you look on the blog post there will be um, the, a picture of the sketch that I'm using so it's essentially two rectangular panels with another one on top um, rather than doing a flat panelled card I decided to, to make this into a gatefold uh, the suites of products I'm using is called um, the peony garden suites so that comprises of this prized peony cling stamp set, the peony dies, which are phenomenal, and the peony garden designer series paper. So the colours in this are grey granite, basic grey and petal pink. Um, there's some stuff in there for the guys too, so it's not just florals. Nice herringbone sort of design uh, there and there. Okay, so really, really really nice um, pack of paper and a great colour combinations um, you may or may not know that the uh, Stamping Up annual catalogue is going to due for a refresh um, at the beginning of May and these are annual catalogue products so the designer series paper is almost definitely going to retire it's very rare that they carry that over uh, so it remains to be seen whether this will be, avail will be available in the new catalogue which launches on the 4th of May. So if it's something that you like, get it uh, ordered before it um, retires or sells out. But so we don't know whether it will or not. We'll have to wait and see. So we're going to get cracking then. Um, I am going to show you how I scored the card base because it isn't um, a, the usual sort of size. Um, so... If you watch me regularly, you'll know that I usually score my tent fold cards. Um, I cut them at lengthways and then I score them at five and seven eighths of an inch. So um, for this card base, I've started by cutting my cardstock at five and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so cutting it in half. Okay, we're then going to turn it over, and to get my four and one eighth of an inch um, sort of uh, central central panel. The score lines are going to have to be made at a funny measurement and I apologise for this. So if you want to adjust this um, to make it easier then please do so. Uh, but we want two and one sixteenth of an inch so we've got our whole increments here. Here's half, quarter, eighth and then this little line in between which is just over a millimetre is the one sixteenth of an inch mark. Okay. So it's going to move that onto there and it's going to cover up that mark and we're going to use the light blade on the trimmer to score that up and down and to make sure it's even if you turn your card 180 degrees and use the same mark to score the other side you will get an even um, even panels okay so we want to fold and burnish those just make sure it's all nice and lined up on that top edge before you crease it down and give that a really good crease same on the other one so hopefully it should meet quite nicely in the middle which it kind of does So really good sharp creases there just to make sure that that holds um, closed, or there enough anyway. 
the extra panel on the top will help keep some of that in place anyway. So that's our card base for the moment. We then want to decorate the, those front panels. So we're using a whisper white, or basic white I should say. I've got to get out of the habit of calling it whisper white. It's called basic white now. And this grey granite um, designer series paper. So that's actually the other side of the one I used on my sample. Those double sided sheets are excellent. So that's the panel that we're going to um, use. Those measure, I had to write it down because they're all funny um, measurements. So five and five eighths by one and seven eighths of an inch for the white panels. Designer series paper is going to be five and a half by one and three quarters. Okay, so I'm just going to use some seal to um, layer those together. Remember, if you line up three um, edges at the bottom here, and you get them equidistant, and then make sure it goes down straight along that edge. The top edge will just sort itself out, so that's fine. Same with this one. So I like using seal because it's mess free. Generally speaking. Okay. And then those are going to go onto our card base. A little bit of extra tape down the middle as well. Just to make sure that that is going to be nice and secure. rubs off there we go done no mess so I found it easier to um, open the card out and do this flat so again line up your um, three edges and the rest should follow twizzle that round I'm just going to make sure that that designer series paper is orientated the same Otherwise, that's going to look really peculiar. <laughs> um, the other thing is, if you want to be sure it meets in the middle, you may want to just check that they look level on the front before you commit to it. Um, I obviously decided I was going to be brave and <laughs> hope that it matched up, so that's fine. Just give that a good burnish, and that's our card base completed for the moment our decorative panel so we're going to stamp on a piece of white that measures five inches by one and fifteen sixteenths we're going to map that onto a piece of the same design series paper which is five and one eighth by two and a sixteenth and then a petal pink layer is five and a quarter by two and three sixteenths so again if, if that those silly measurements are, are going to make you um, scratch your head, then adjust as necessary. We're going to do our, um, do this layer, we want to stamp on the white bit, so we'll do that next. Okay, just make sure that's really well pressed down. Okay, so that's ready to go on to there like that so that pink just sort of lifts it up but coordinates with the card base so that's cool isn't it and we're going to stamp on this piece okay with our large peony um, stamp we're going to do the stamping with the grey granite coordinating ink and we I'm not going to stamp on this at all. We're going to stamp on a piece of scrap is what we're going to do so that we can die cut it. Where did my scrap go? This piece will do. <laughs> oh, I thought, hang on a minute, that's going to be too narrow for that. <laughs> that's because we're doing it wrong. Okay. So on a separate piece of paper, we're going to stamp with grey granite ink 
and we're going to colour it in with our Stampin' Blends. Okay, so just give that good firm pressure. Isn't that beautiful? The blends are soft sea foam. Uh, this isn't going to be a colouring masterclass at all. Uh, just want to lay that colour down reasonably quickly. Not spend too much time on it. Okay, don't forget this leaf here. And we're just going to use the oops, the dark marker just to add a bit of shading here and there. Um, I am not going to do um, any additional blending on that at all. I just want this to be reasonably quick and easy colouring for this particular project. Okay, so that's all that's going to need. So that was soft sea foam. And then we're going to bring in petal pink to coordinate with our card. So again, this isn't going to be a master class. We're just going to go reasonably carefully around the edge with the light marker and just fill that in a little bit with the light ink there. And then we'll just bring in the dark marker and again I'm not being super fussy about this um, I'm just adding it to these um, the artist has put in shadow and speckles and things into the artwork of the stamp so I'm just using that as my guide as to where I'm gonna plonk this darker ink okay Re really is fast and simple today okay this is the kind of image that you could spend a real ton of time colouring but that is not the purpose of this for today so I will be I will just go over this with the light marker again just even that out a little bit. Just gently around the edges so we don't go out the lines. Then you can just cover the middle. And you know, if it is a bit speckly, it won't matter. Peonies in real life are quite a delicate sort of colour, not particularly uniform. I'm going to bring in the matching dye, just lay that over the top. I use these sort of two sticking out leaves here and, and the one up there as my sort of anchor points if you like. So once those are in, I'm going to put that in place and run that through my stamping cut and boss love this machine dead easy to use and all the um instructions if you like the uh the sandwich combinations of plates that you use through the machine are all printed on the the base plate so you aren't going to lose your instructions because it's going to be there with your machine at all times. Which is marvellous. So there, there's our beautiful peony design. Okay, so let's actually tack that down now as well. Oops. Now onto this panel that we prepared thinking I was going to stamp on it. <laughs> Wally. But before we add it to our card, we need to add our sentiment. So we are stamping on it, but not in the way that I thought. <laughs> okay, there we go. So the set does come with some sentiments. Um, I went with this one that says may your sweet friendship 
sorry, your free, sweet friendship <laughs> refreshes the soul. Okay, the other sentiments are kind of sympathy based, really. And I wanted something different, so I went with this one. I'm just lining that up on the grid paper. I've already made sure that the stamp is lined up. I'm just going to lay that over the top to give me an eyeball on that. And I'm going to put that at the bottom just there, just making sure it's sort of centred. And it's straight, yay! Okay, so that's that um, there. So what I did then was just have a look at where I could put some dimensionals, okay? So the back of the flower is pretty much going to be uh, on that layer and we've just got a spot at this, this sort of leaf junction where we can put a uh, dimensional as well, okay? So we'll just turn that over, bring in our dimensionals. So our flower's sort of safe. So we'll stick four there and we'll just put, tuck one in where the, that leaf junction is, hopefully. Let, oh, let's put it a bit further up there so it's covered up. You could put some minis in as well if you wanted, but that's going to be more than enough to keep that secure. Okay. And we will put that on there. Like so. And then this is going to go onto our car base. So don't put glue on this side, otherwise you'll seal your card shut. So we want it on the right hand side when you flip it over. Or if you twist it round because you're left handed, on the left hand side. So I'm going to put two lines of glue there, quite close together. And I'm going to use the non gluey side if you like. To make sure that that's lined up top and bottom and roughly left and right and I think we're gonna go there beautiful I've just thought of something else that's in this suite and they're beautiful these faceted elegant gems Elegant Fasty Gems, yes, super duper. And these ones are actually petal pink. I haven't used many of those. Let's use some of those just to jazz that up, shall we? Where's my take your pick tool gone? There it is. Okay, and I think we're going to put these onto our gate panels, I think, just to tie it all together. There we go. There's some lovely um, grey granite ribbon as well in this particular collection. Sort of shimmer ribbon, I think they call it. So there we go. What do you think? So two two quite different looks with the same concept, depending on which paper you use and how you um, layer it together. Okay, but I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, a bit of a different fold for you as well. Okay, um, the other thing I didn't put on was Wink of Stella. Fresh Wink of Stella, let's put that on. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a squeeze. Get that um, going. Well, maybe I won't. Can't get me. Oh, it's not. I'll get that going okay I'll do that after I don't know why that's not coming through 
maybe it's an empty one <laughs> um, but someone could still on there would be really really nasty okay um, all the links etc in the uh, description bar if you want to take part this month or this week on this challenge um, then all those details will be um, in the description too okay hope you've enjoyed that take care everybody and I'll see you again soon take care bye